This is a 10 minute hit circuit using the TRX suspension trainer. You guys asked for it, so here it is. As I said, it's only 10 minutes, so that means that you can do it two or three times. We're gonna be doing 10 moves, 40 seconds of work, very hard work, followed by 20 seconds of recovery. And if you're finding that the recovery is too long, that means you're not working hard enough. You're gonna need that 20 seconds to transition anyway. I think you're gonna find this one is a lot of fun, it's very challenging. Welcome to Short Circuits, make sure you're warmed up, and let's get sweaty. First of all, ensure that the bottoms of the cradles are about a foot off the floor. Our first move is TRX Froggers. You're facing away from the anchor point. Hold on to the handles under your arms. Put some tension on the strap so you're leaning forward at an angle and walk your feet backwards. Start by squatting and jumping out as far as you can, returning to that soft squat position. Stay on the balls of your feet and keep leaning forward, making sure that your chest stays high and your hips are down into that squat. Keep it going. This is gonna feel fairly easy at first, but by 30 seconds into it, those legs are going to be screaming. Turn around and face the anchor point. We're going to be doing a squat combined with a kick out. Elbows are under the shoulders, chest is lifted, feet are hip width apart. Here we go. Squat and kick. Try to kick so that your foot ends up between the straps and is higher than the straps. Get it up there. Keep pushing. Try to go as fast as you can. Nice deep squats, high kicks. Next up we have runners, so we're coming down to the floor. We're going to put the heels in the cradles. You're going to want to be lifting your hips up as high as you can throughout the exercise. You're driving those heels in towards the butt as fast as you can. Equal pressure in the cradles, trying not to saw. Pick up that pace. Let's go. Don't let those hips drop down. Excellent job, guys. 15 seconds left. Come back up to standing, one foot in both straps. Easiest way to do it is to use the opposite hand and bring that toe in. You've got time, so there's no rush. And you're gonna wanna hop a little bit away from the anchor point. We're getting ready for lunges with hops. Here we go. If you're finding that the hop is too much, just drive the knee. You're trying to hop as high as you can, landing softly in that lunge. This one requires a little bit of balance. You're burning out your glutes. This one is really tough. Hang in there. 10 seconds left. Same thing on the other side, so we're changing the foot out. Once you've got your foot in, you're going to hop a little bit away from the anchor point. Make sure you're lined up. Get ready. And go.
right? Take that foot out. You're gonna come down to the mat or the floor. You're gonna drop the cradles over your toes and turn over into a plank position. We've got a combo here. Three crunches, one push up. Hands under your shoulders. You're gonna come up into a strong plank. Here we go. Try to keep your shoulders over your hands. You're coming back into a strong plank every time legs are engaged. Beautiful job, guys. You're halfway there. Take your feet out of the cradles, come back up to standing. You're holding on to the handles and facing the anchor point for speed skaters. Come to one side. Weight is gonna be on one foot and you're hopping from side to side as if you were skating. Try to make the movement as big as possible and as fast as possible. You're landing softly. Keep pushing. 20 seconds to go. We're gonna start this next one with your butt on the floor. You're holding one handle, one hand. You're gonna push up so that your body remains in a diagonal and then you're gonna row with a little bit of a torso pull so you're rotating. Here we go, push and turn. You may have to adjust your feet to find the sweet spot. Try to push your body out rather than up, so you're still in that diagonal. Squeeze your glutes as you come up, and bring your butt all the way back down to the floor. Change sides, same thing. Line yourself up and make any adjustments that you need to when you start the exercise. Grab both handles with both hands. This is our last one. We're doing a quick, quick, slow lunge combination. It's a plyometric move, but if that's too tough for you, you can just make it reverse lunges. You're starting in a lunge position. And here we go. Two shallow lunges and a deep lunge. So it's quick, quick, slow. Beautiful, guys. Last 30 seconds. Keep your core engaged, chest is high. Bend those knees, come on down. Last 10 seconds, you got this. And five, four, three, two, one. 
and you are done. Excellent job. So that one was super tough, my friends. But if you got more gas in your tank, feel free to do it again. If you are enjoying my workouts, if you enjoyed this one in particular, make sure you click the like button. Please share. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Short Circuits. Make sure you subscribe and uh, new workouts are posted on Mondays. Until next time, take care of you, be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty. And this is how out of breath you should be, you should not be able to complete a sentence. So hope you guys enjoyed it again. Talk to you soon. Peace out.